so node with highest edge score so uh, here we are given a directed graph with n nodes and uh, there are uh, nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 yeah uh, node numbers are labeled from 0 to n minus 1 where each node has exactly one outgoing edge so each node will have one exactly one outgoing edge and the graph is represented by given zero indexed integer uh, array edge of length n where edge of i indicates that there is directed edge from i to uh, edge i yeah so uh, if we look at this array this is an input and what this tells is uh, first index which is zero is pointing to one and the next index which is one so node one is pointing to zero node two is pointing to zero node three is pointing to zero node 4 is pointing to 0, node 5 is pointing to 7. So if you see in graph, 5 to 7, there is a edge. And then 6 to 7, there is a edge. And 7 to 5, there is one edge. Now, uh, if we read the next statement, the edge score of a node i is defined as the sum of labels of all the nodes that have an edge pointing to i. So uh, this means nothing but if we take a node 7, all the nodes which are pointing to 7, their label sum will be the score for 7. Like here, 6 and 5 is pointing to 7. So 6 plus 5 will be 11 will become the score for 7. If we take 0 as the node over here, so 2 is pointing to 0, 1 is pointing to 0, 4 is pointing to 0, 3 is pointing to 0. So all the sum of 1, 2, 3, 4, that is uh, around 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 10. So 10 is the score of 0. Now, uh, can anyone tell me what is the score of 1 here? For this example, what is the score of 1? Yeah, uh, you all are right because 0 is pointing to 1. So uh, 0, if we take uh, as a sum, it will be 0. All right. So uh, here, uh, the max score of any node will become the answer for us. Right. So many of you might have solved this question. Can anyone tell me like what all approach did you take? Kaushik, what I did was like similar to how we calculate uh, in degree, right? Similar okay. in similar way I did, but instead of you know like uh, uh, just taking the integree, I just calculated the sum for uh, each node, and then you know like um, I iterated through it and find out which node has the maximum. Based on that, I, I am returning that uh, node. Okay. All right. So. Uh... Just we have to iterate through the edge over here. So uh, I've taken this example. So this array have uh, indexed zero based index. So it's easy to, I mean, visualize zero is pointing to one, one is pointing to zero, two is pointing to zero, three is pointing to zero. Uh, I've written the same in edges. So these are all the edges. Now, just looking at edge, we can find out what is the score of any node. Now, let's say if I want to find the score of 7. So 5 is pointing to 7, 6 is pointing to 7. So 5 plus 6, 11 will become the score of 7. So the best, uh, best way to uh, implement uh, this solution would be by taking a either an unordered map or uh, uh, we can take array also because we know how many nodes are there. So basically you can take an array of size n and uh, initialize all the scores as zero initially. And then just we have to go through each edges and update the score. So if I go through this edges one by one, so uh, zero is pointing to one. This means that one's score should be updated by zero. So one still has zero, plus zero will be zero only. Then one is pointing to zero, two is pointing to zero. So here a score will change, like score of zero will be plus one, a score of zero will be again plus two, then plus three. Similarly, 
till here it will become 10 and then if we go here so at node 5 at node 5 oh, sorry at node 7 we'll add 5 and then when we look at this edge we'll add 6 again to the node 7 so it will become 11 and then if we go to this edge so we'll update 7 at 5 now, once we are done with all the edges over here, we just have to find what which node has the maximum score. But one one more thing which is mentioned over here is if you have two nodes with the same score, we should take the node which is uh, uh, having less uh, label label value, right? So we just have to start from you know, index zero and get get the a node which has the maximum score for here it is seven so uh, what will be the time complexity for this question i mean this solution linear time right because we are using a array where a random access is possible basically and just we are iterating once through each element so here uh, order of n we can say anyone has any doubt in this question okay then we can move to the next problem.